Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the Break the Cycle website that I hope you're looking at, or will. In this brief video, I want to uh, introduce you to the concept of recovery or reduction of psychological wounds. Wounds are caused by children who do not get their needs met well enough when they're very young, typically age zero through five or six. The wounds that they acquire automatically uh, include formation of a false self in order to survive, excessive shame, excessive guilt, excessive fears, excessive reality distortion like denial, and problems with trust, trusting too easily and being hurt all the over and over, or not trusting trustworthy people and being isolated. If you have these five wounds, you may uh, also have a sixth wound, which is difficulty feeling your emotions, being numb and in your head, and or difficulty bonding with people and tolerating healthy intimacy with others. People who are wounded, which comprise, in my experience as a therapist for 31 years, a high percentage of at least Americans, if not people throughout the globe, carry significant mixes of these wounds, and they don't know it. The symptoms are everywhere. Abortion, depression, addiction, crime, isolation, um, various kinds of illnesses, not all, but some. Family problems, anger problems, sadness problems, difficulty grieving. These are all symptoms of combinations of these psychological wounds. This website is dedicated to illustrating the wounds, explaining where they come from, and most importantly, showing you a practical way based on many years experience of how to reduce your wounds. The first step is to break your denial. A typical way of distorting reality to say, well other people are wounded but not me. Uh huh. Um, think again. The website, lesson one here, has two specific articles that show you uh, a way of assessing. Do you have wounds? You probably do. They can range from minor to major. If you do, how can you reduce them? There are several requisites in order to actually reduce your wounds and live a better, less stressful, happier, more satisfying life. The first requisite is awareness. You have to be aware of yourself. Many people are not, in at least the American culture, because they're distracted by all the stimulation that the media throws at us and the constant urging, go, 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 fast, fast, fast. What you need to do is get real clear on what's going on inside your skin. You need awareness, then you need knowledge. I hope that you'll find lesson one and the rest of this website provides the knowledge you need. Then you need motivation. In my experience as an inner family systems therapist for 19 years, people may see that they are wounded and they may make tentative steps towards reducing their wounds. Well, this can be called pseudo recovery, but the wounds come back because people have not hit true bottom. Hitting bottom, as you may know, means you wake up one morning or at some point in the afternoon or before you go to bed and you say, I cannot live like this one more day. I'm done. I'm going to change. Often, in my experience, wounded people don't hit true bottom. They can hit trial bottom where they make tentative changes but then fall back into the old habits, like breaking New Year's resolutions, in case you've done that. People who hit true bottom often 
have reached midlife, somewhere between 35 and 45 years of age. My tentative guess is that's because they actually come to understand I'm not immortal, I'm gonna die, my number of years on earth are limited, I'd better do something about this or suffer for the rest of my life. That's pretty horrific. You have to reach a point like that in order to make true wound reduction. Another requisite besides awareness and knowledge and hitting bottom, you need to be in a what I call a pro-recovery environment. You have to intentionally choose people around you who are empathic and sympathetic with your woundedness and what you're trying to do to reduce your wounds. Wounds come from being in a dysfunctional family and a dysfunctional social setting. If you remain in that setting, it makes wound reduction much harder. Lesson one will show you ways of trying to assess are you in a dysfunctional setting or a functional setting? And if you're in a dysfunctional setting, what can you do about it? The best way that I'm aware of after 31 years of wondering, studying, and recovering myself, because I am a wounded person, I grew up in a very dysfunctional family, the best way that I've found to make genuine, long-lasting, healthy changes in reducing these six wounds is something called inner family therapy. The theme of inner family therapy is getting to know, first accepting that your personality is made up of subcells and you're not crazy, you're normal. Your personality is made up of subcells like players on a sports team. Each of one of them is talented. These wounds come from subcells taking over the natural wise leader that you are equipped with, we all are, called your true self. If a false self takes you over, you can become fear-based, anger-based, shame-based, guilt-based, distrust-based. So the quest here is to learn who your subcells are, identify the subcells that are causing your wounds, and working patiently and respectfully with those subcells to get them to trust your true self and relax. This may sound like science fiction to you. I've been seeing hundreds of people do this in various ways in their own unique style as an inner family systems therapist. It really does work. This lesson, lesson one, will show you how to do inner family therapy. So I invite you to get curious, meet the subcells who are really running your life, and if there are symptoms of these wounds that you want to reduce, study lesson one over time in your own way and learn how to reduce your wounds and live a better life. If you have any comments, feedbacks, questions, praise, criticism, on any part of this lesson or the website, every web page has got a link at the bottom called Contact. Submit your thoughts or suggestions to me. I'm glad to receive them. Uh, I'm glad to talk to you directly in case that's something that would be useful to you. So I encourage you to find out, are you wounded? Are you wounding your children, which is lesson six in this website? If you are wounded, what can you do about it? Continue with lesson one.